So for today's video, I wanted to do a combination of what products I really liked in the winter that I'll be carrying through to the spring. So let's get to it. So the first product that I've been using for a couple months now, you guys know that I rave about the Palmer's Cocoa Butter range. I love their lotions, their swivel sticks, everything. So I found at Walgreens that they had this Cocoa Butter Moisture Rich Night Cream for Overnight Renewal. And it's so awesome. It's I'm like almost done with the pot, if you can see. And you don't need that much. Like I've had it for a few months now and it's lasted and I just put um, two dots on my cheek, my forehead, and my chin. And then rub it all in. If I have extra, I'll put it on my neck. First of all, it smells delicious as usual because it's cocoa butter. It does have a little more of a lotion-y smell to it, but that's totally fine. It still has the cocoa butter hint in it. And it really does moisturize the skin overnight because I feel like when I use my other moisturizer which now I just use during the day it's the Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter that it kind of just like either wiped up on my pillow or didn't soak into my skin all the way and this stuff does really soak in and keep you moisturized overnight and when you wake up your skin is like soft and dewy and then I go ahead and I use my other moisturizer for the day because this is specifically just says it's a night cream so I've been using this and I really love it. My next favorite, I actually bought because when I was at Lindsay's house, my cousin Lindsay over Christmas, I saw that she had this All May um, Truly Lasting Color, TLC, long lasting 16 hour makeup. And I tried it and it was so nice and light on the skin. It gave coverage, but it didn't feel cakey. And so when I came home, I bought the correct color because she's tanner than me. So I got Ivory, which is number 120, and I really do love it for just the reasons I just said. It's not heavy. I like if I'm going to wear a liquid foundation to feel light and that I'm not bogged down by makeup. So I really, really like this. Thanks, Linz. So the next favorite I have is this Tree Hut Nourishing Hawaiian Salt Scrub in Hawaiian Kukui. Apologies if I'm saying that wrong, but this is what the um, tub looks like. Sorry, reflection. <clears throat> I got this at Walmart because I unfortunately have that, I don't know if it's, I think it's keratosis or something like that. It's the chicken skin on like the back of your arm where it's really bumpy because the hair follicles aren't coming through. So I was trying to find a really good exfoliant. I think all the, um, I was gonna say flavors, but all the varieties that they had, I believe were under $5. So that's relatively inexpensive for a pot that that's, that's this big. I've only used that much of it and I've had it for like two or three months. So what you do is when you're in the shower is you just take a little scoop and exfoliate wherever you need to exfoliate. Word to the wise, don't shave your legs, then exfoliate with a salt scrub because it's like going in the ocean after shaving your legs. It burns. <laughs> And it smells really good. I mean, you can't beat stuff that smells really good and does its job. Mm. And they did have like salt scrubs and sugar scrubs. I don't know if the sugar scrub would do the same thing if you shaved and then exfoliated, but just exfoliate first, then shave your legs. The next favorite I have is a recent buy, but I'm definitely gonna be using it into spring. Um, this is the Maui Moisture Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Raw Oil for dry and damaged hair, which is what I got. This is what it looks like. And I made the mistake the first time and put it all over my head and woke up with very greasy hair. Yes, I know it's oil and it's going to make it look oily, but the second time I did it and every time I've done it since, I just use the smallest, smallest amount, rub in the palms into my fingertips and kind of work it through just the Pretty much to like my mid shaft down to the bottom and my ends have felt a lot more healthy so this is a really great product to try if you have it um, the bottle should last you a while because you're only supposed to use a really small amount and I know they have a ton of other products like um, shampoos and conditioners but there are also products for different um, hair types so try it out if you'd like and my last favorite are something that I've had 
since last summer. Since I moved to Arizona, I was looking for a new pair of sandals. But the pair of sandals I had, and I had for uh, like two, three years, they weren't slide-ons. I had to like slip on the back of them. So I was looking for a really good pair of slide-ons, but I didn't want to go expensive and buy a pair of Birkenstocks. So while I was at Target, I saw that they had, please excuse these, they're super dirty and beat up, but I love them. They're slide-on sandals and they're rose gold. How could you beat that? <laughs> but I really love them because I like the the toe, I was going to call it a toe holder, but it's just a little like toe strap. I really like that and I like how it has the middle strap and these have lasted me, we're coming up on like year two now, but I pretty much wore these all year because there were days like in the winter that it was like warm. So these are my all year round shoes, but they're definitely going into a spring and summer and another fall and winter favorite. I bought them last year, but I did see that they're selling them again this year at Target. They have rose gold, silver, and black. And I think the black would be a cool other pair to get because that goes with everything. But the rose gold also goes pretty well with all my outfits. So I really love these sandals. They're the Mad Love brand. So definitely check these out if you're looking for some easy to slip on and something that's cute in the summer. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys have tried any of the favorites that I've shown today, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you missed my last video, you can click here to watch that and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.